Well, more than 100 years, for more than 100 years, the Chippewa National Forest has been home to camping and recreation for thousands of Minnesotans and tourists. The last two years, they've had to adjust to new restrictions, but they're now preparing for their busy summer season. Our reporter, Betsy Moline, has more on this week's Northwoods Adventure. The Chippewa National Forest was established in 1908 and since that time has expanded its size. It now includes over 3,000 archaeological and historic sites. The National Forest included a little over 200,000 acres. Today there's over 660,000 acres that comprise the forest. It expanded significantly in the 30s and the 40s. There are plenty of activities to do in the forest from camping to biking, but there is one huge attraction each year. Uh, fishing on the Chippewa is, is huge. Uh, we have three of the 10 largest lakes in the state of Minnesota. So a lot of folks uh, come up here for opener. The fishing opener is May 15th this year, and it marks the beginning of the busy season for the National Forest. But in recent years, certain things have had to change. Uh, March 2020 it was a shock to uh, you know us as well as everybody else. Uh, took a lot of adjustments. One of the biggest changes for the forest this year is that visitor centers will be closed for the time being, which means that Mike suggests coming prepared with extra food and water for any upcoming visits. The visitor center being closed also means guests may lose out on learning some history of the park, but there are still plenty of significant sites for visitors to explore on their own. Um, some of our campsites, you know, campgrounds, have uh, archaeological evidence going back, you know, as, as much as 10,000 years. And those locations were used, you know, off and on throughout history from that time up to the present. They're still being used as campgrounds. Last year did give park staff an opportunity to learn more about how to open as safely as possible. It's really helped uh, the recreation folks this year planning. Um, it looks like we're going to be able to open most of our very popular and um, most of the campgrounds on time. There are guidelines in place for visitors, including masking in public areas and staying socially distanced with people not in their group. Reporting for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. And recreation staff is hoping to plan more outdoor activities for the summer with a group size limit of 50 people. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.